All right, I'm going to show you how to use both kinds of bedpans. We have the fracture pan and we have a regular bedpan. And the fracture pan is smaller and it has this little flat part here that goes up behind the patient's hips. And we use a fracture pan when, when the patient's had a hip fracture or back surgery or neck surgery. It's for patients who cannot sit up in bed. So uh, Mrs. DeBurke needs to use the bedpan and have a bowel movement. Hi, Mrs. DeBurke. Hi. Let me just check here. Mrs. DeBurke has her abduction pillow in place. And these pillows, I'm just going to take this out for a minute, are used to keep the legs apart. And when a patient's had a hip, had hip surgery or a hip fracture, a lot of times they'll use these abduction pillows to keep the legs apart because we don't want the legs touching or crossing, otherwise it can ruin the surgery. So I am going to put a pillow between her legs, and this is what you'll need to do for the skills test, is put a pillow between the legs to keep the legs apart, and And then to put the patient on the fracture pan, we need to log roll the patient. And normally it takes two or three CNAs or nurses. And we usually have one at the feet and one at the, one at the bottom part of the body and one at the top part of the body. And if we use three, and sometimes we do, then we'll have somebody in the middle part of the body too. But I am going to use my draw sheet and I'm going to help roll her in one segment. I don't want her body twisting at all. So I've got my draw sheet here, and on the count of three, Mrs. DeBurke, we're gonna roll to the side and I'm gonna put the bedpan in place. So on the count of three, one, two, three, over she goes. Perfect, that was perfect, she moved in one segment. Then I'm gonna take my bedpan, and this part here goes at the top, and then we wanna place it so we're not gonna spill anything on the bed. So, on the count of three, one, two, three, back she comes. Perfect, and then you just want to look and make sure the bedpan's in the right place, and it is. And then I'm going to provide privacy, and I'm going to leave some toilet tissue, although she's probably going to need me to help her clean up. There's some toilet tissue, and here's your call light. Okay. And when you're finished, give me a ring. Whoa, okay, that was fast. Good job. <laughs> All right. So to remove the fracture pan, I am going to pretend somebody's standing here, and I am going to roll her part way, hang on to the pan, and pull the pan out. And at this point, I could start cleaning her up, if she needed me to clean her up, clean her off, and I'll be checking for any bed sores at this time also. So um, I'm going to hand this to my assistant, who's going to take this into the bathroom, and then we'll just bring her back. Count of three, back she goes. Okay, 